When a person is busy with every day's life, making a living, taking care of his personal things, family, children, etc., <coughs> automatically they don't have enough time to pay attention for their righteousness. That's why the Torah says, Don't run after business. If, you, if there is a way to survive without going to work, or with working very little, run for it. But you make a lot less, doesn't matter, don't worry. You have enough to survive, focus on, on your spirituality because this is eternity. The way of the evil inclination is that he distract the attention of the person and always build all kinds of illusions in his mind. This is the life. Now we have to be successful. We have to make it. I don't want to be a loser. All my friends went to college. He's a doctor, he's a lawyer, he's going to be a judge, he's a politician. What am I going to do? Look at me, what kind of job I am. You are a million times better than this lawyer and the judge if you're close to Hashem and he's not. It doesn't matter what he is. can be the prime minister of the world, can be the king, people bow down to him. He's zero in the eyes of God. What do you care about this? You are close to Hashem, you don't know how to talk, your language is funny, your clothes are ripped, your food is garbage. What do you care? You're a million times better than him. What do you care? What society think or what the creator of the world think about you? That's why I always tell people about mixed marriages, mixed, mixed dancing. What do you care about what your family think? All you have to think, what is God thinking about me the moment I put the ring and the finger of my wife? The rest is nonsense, doesn't exist for me. They cry, they scream, they, whatever they do, they're threatening you, we're not going to help you, we don't buy you a house, you're not our son anymore, thank you very much. Mm. Move on with your life. For me, all these things is dust in the wind, nonsense. All I care is what Hashem thinks about me. You proud of me, I'm your son, or I let you down. That's it, the rest is nonsense. If you get to this level, you see how happy you are. Today somebody called me on my way here, he said, your lecture about Tikkun Abrit saved my life. He's trying to become religious 10 years. On and off, going up, two steps up, three steps down. You know this thing, up and down? Everyone has ups and downs. But he said, since you made that lecture, it's about, about a month since I made it. I made it right here in Queens. Since you made that lecture, I accepted on myself not to make scenes with girls and not to be Pogem Babrit. For one month, I'm very strong. My entire life changed. I see light, spiritual light, happiness in my life, which I never had. Making money, not making scenes, enjoying the moment, never gave me the happiness and the clear mind that I have now. I never believed that it can change the life so much, this scene. I say to him, now you're going to see even more results in your parnasah, making a living. So I don't even care. I'm already so happy now that really that, that doesn't matter. I don't do it for that. You understand? So this, the Ramchal continue. Uh, when a person learns Torah, nobody can argue this fact. No one. You take a group of ten people that are business people, religious, yarmulke, beard, whatever you want, but work. Doesn't matter, in a doctor's office, in a court, in 47th Street, taxi driver, having a retail store. Anyone who works, good people. They go to work, they work very hard. You take 10 people that learn Torah. Where do you see a much higher level of religion in Irad Shamayim? Always by the people who learn Torah. So I guess it's something here, no? If always it's like this, if once in a while it's like this, once in a while it's like that, no, so okay. You can be righteous also in 47th Street. It's no guarantee that only if you go to Yeshiva you'll be more righteous, no. But reality shows, always, people who are connected with the Torah for many hours every day in a very high level, very high level. Even before they use someone's pen, they look for him for, for 10 minutes to ask permission not to use maybe a drop of ink because they already reach a very high level. Nobody in a business reach these levels. Why? Because the environment the, around you 
one way or the other destroying us without realizing. Also, the air that we breathe, it's contaminated. Not only what the people talk, the way they dress, the way they do things. No, that's all. That's of course. Even if you close your eyes, even you blind, you don't see problems with modesty. You blind, you deaf, you disconnected from the world. Just standing there and breathing the air where people make scenes already bringing you down. What's the proof? How do you say in Hebrew air? Avir, right? Air to breathe. Avir. How do you say atmosphere around you? Avira. Avir, avira. Avira in Aramaic, it's air. Air in atmosphere is the same word in Hebrew, in the holy language. Even breathing the air in a wicked area, already bringing you down. You go to Las Vegas, you close your eyes, you block your ears, you just come out of the plane, you walk 20 steps, if you are 90% righteous, you drop to 70% in one minute. Just breathing the contaminated air of all the prostitutes and all the gamblers around you. And our people coming to me, Rabbi, are we allowed to go to the casino? <laughs> I heard it's allowed. Some things are kosher, but stink. For instance, a person took a cow and he slaughtered it, glad kosher, bet yourself, the highest of the highest. The knife, everything. Check the cow, everything, cut a piece of steak, high level of kashrut, and then it fell into the bowl. You know, the little children you put and they sit on it and they make what they have to make? It fell inside. Now when you take it out, you try to rinse it, whatever. It's kosher, it's glad kosher. You're allowed to eat it, you're allowed to eat it. It's kosher, but it stink. Yeah, it may be kosher to walk and close your eyes, but it, die, it kills you. You eat it, okay, you want to eat it, you eat it. However, it's kosher. Not everything kosher is positive. Depends.